Hello, welcome to the session on burn down chart in Scrum methodology. Let us see the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to use burn down chart of Scrum methodology in software development. A burn down chart is a graphical representation of work left to do versus tired. It is often used in agile software development methodology such as Scrum. However, burn down charts can be applied to any project containing measurable progress over time. The burn down is a chart that shows how quickly you and your team are burning through your customers user stories it shows the total effort against the amount of work we deliver each iteration something like this shown burn down chart is a common and useful tool usually used in stand up meetings not only in stand up meeting to assess how much work has been completed on an assignment i personally like to use it as a forecasting tool instead it gives us a rough idea how we are doing in the current sprint the simple visually appearing format is used by many agile practitioners because it can be easily understood by all team members burn down charts are used to measure how much work has been completed on a project during a specific time frame then compared to the amount of time still available to complete the project they outline the amount of work planned versus what is performed during each iteration the charts are highly useful tool used to monitor completed work and work that still needs to be done during the designated time frames however as useful as they are burn down charts have their limitations they cannot for example clearly or effectively measures work that is still in the progress they only measure what has already been completed so that is the one of the limitation so it clearly or effectively measures work that is still in progress they only measure what has already been completed let us see an example of burn down chart as shown it demonstrate an example of work completed versus work that can be delivered during each iteration you can see by looking at the graph that the left side shows the total effort while the right side shows the team velocity this graph also provides the following information work completed during each iteration work still needed to be done time frame when the team expects the project to complete while this chart is very clear and easy to follow it's not necessarily realistic a true burn down chart will not have straight lines showing the time frames because the team will never complete their task at the same speed or in the same time frame burn down charts are highly effective tools with many strengths however there are weaknesses as well to using this chart pros of using the burn down charts are burn down charts are simple easy to follow representations they clearly show an agile team's achievement clearly show what the team still needs to achieve lets the team know if they are on target with their deadlines alert the team to potential problems or bottleneck situations quickly show the progress of project 
teams can see where they need to focus their efforts to get back on track motivate the team show the team where they have succeeded and work they still need to do let us see the limitations they are limiting the charts only shows the part of the total picture they do not show what tasks are still in the progress they do not show how close the team is to complete their work they can lead to exaggerated expectation that is worse than the reality teams that run aggressive projects based on unrealistic or over inflated time frames can become easily disgruntled or lose their motivation when the project does not run smoothly the team can also lose moral if they feel they are being micromanaged any information that is not covered in the burn down chart should be addressed in the scrum meeting so team has a clear picture of how the project is going to effectively create and use the burn down chart the team must first implement a task breakdown this usually happens at the sprint planning meet each task identified in the breakdown should have an allotted amount of time designed to complete the task ideally 12 hours is the best amount of time this can be broken down into 2 6-hour days once the task breakdown has been completed the team can then create and plot their burn down chart if the team assumes that each task will be completed at the same rate as the rest of the tasks then their ideas should reflect their steady progress there are many agile tools available with uh, built in burn down chart abilities some of these tools include rally rtc version 1 and mingle if you do not have any of these programs an excel spreadsheet can be used to create a burn down chart on the spreadsheet input the sprint dates on x axis and the remaining efforts on the y axis let us see an example of an ideal burn down chart shown in this example the sprint is at two weeks the team consists of seven members working 6 hours per day for a total of 420 hours as you can see the total hours for the entire sprint are shown on y axis the green line shows that what the ideal work progress should be during the sprint if we assume there will be no problems or delays all the tasks should be finished by the end of the sprint this example demonstrated another burn down to chart the team progress during the sprint you can see that the green line shows the progress that has been completed while the black line shows the remaining effort needed to complete the project let us see the release burn down charts scrum projects can use release burn down charts to track their progress the scrum master is the responsible for updating the release of burn down charts at the end of each sprint exercise on this chart the horizontal axis that shows each sprint while the remaining work is shown on the vertical axis the teams can use any of the method they choose to show the remaining amount of work including story points the team days and ideal days we'll see the example In this example the chart shows that the team started with uh, 360 story points 
to successfully complete their project in their planned six sprints the team would have to average six story points for each sprint for example this example also shows that in the first sprint the team used 90 story points with 270 remaining the second sprint can smoothly as well however as you can see in the chart something happened during the third sprint and the team burned up their story points once they resolved the issues in the third sprint the project ran smoothly for the remaining sprints let us pause the video for a while and answer the question suppose your ideal baseline for using the available hours over the sprint so in the simplest for this is the available hours divided by the number of days create the burn down chart for these values so in the simplest for this is the available hours divided by the number of days in this example 80 hours over 5 days equating to 16 hours a day in order to create a project burn down chart the data needs to be captured as a daily running total starting with 80 hours then 64 hours left at the end of the day that is 80 minus 16 48 hours left at the end of the day 2 so 64 hours at the end of the day 1 then 48 hours at the end of the day 2 so these are the following references i referred thank you